and I just went on my account and saw that I have a thousand subscribers. So that's amazing. Thank you guys all for following my journey. Um, I wanted to talk about something today because I've been getting so many messages and I'm just responding one at a time, but I figured it would be better if I made a video about it so that everybody could have the information. So the subject of this one is pre-workout. I would have definitely never, ever, ever been able to start in my fitness journey without pre-workout. It's like, it's the liquid motivation that you need. Nobody that I know feels like working out. Nobody is like, let's go work out. This is gonna be so great. If you're going into a really difficult workout, you're gonna dread it probably a little bit. What the common thing that everybody uses, at least that I follow, that I see, um, which I actually found out from following fitness accounts on Instagram when I first started this whole thing last year, um, the common thing I saw everybody doing was drinking pre-workout. And I'm like, okay, why is everybody drinking pre-workout? So I went and bought one. Even if you don't feel like working out, you just take a scoop and that's it. You feel like working out. People ask like, what does pre-workout do for you? For me, it gives me the motivation to work out, to begin my workout. And then in the middle of the workout, that voice that constantly tells you in your head, you can't do this, you can't do this, you're too tired, give up, this is too hard. For me, it like shuts that voice off. So I love that. I've tried working out a few times without it and I just can't, I, I really can't. I really owe it all to pre-workout. I would say it's definitely like my main thing. The thing about pre-workouts, there's five million different kinds. For me, what I've seen the most common brand, Walmart, Target, everybody sells this, GNC, this brand. C4, Cellucor um, is the brand name, C4 pre-workout um, with creatine nitrate. This is an orange dreamsicle. This is 60 serving, I think it was like 40 bucks. But this is probably like one of the more unhealthy ones, but it works. So this is the number one brand that I see. This is what I started with. They have a smaller size that is like $20. The next one that I tried when I was doing Whole30 is this brand, Do Vitamins Pure Pump, found it on Amazon, is like $39. The difference between this one and C4, this has no other ingredients. Okay, it may not be the best thing in the world for you, this one, but if it gets you working out every day and active, that is good for you. So sometimes you have to do what you have to do. If you have to start with this one, start with this one, maybe go to this one. This one tastes really good. This one tastes disgusting. This one you have to plug your nose and drink it and maybe mix it with juice or something. So it just really depends what you're going for. My all time favorite, favorite, favorite is Energize. This is Beach Bodies. This one is more expensive, but it is hands down the best. It tastes the best. Uh, it works the best. This one tastes like a really concentrated lemonade. And then this one, the C4 Orange Dream School, tastes like those little popsicles with the cream in the middle. And then the last thing I wanted to tell you guys about that I do with my pre-workout is the Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides. I kept seeing this on people's social media, so I decided to try it. I like it to add into my pre-workout in the morning, uh, 20 grams of protein in it. So I don't like to eat before I work out. I like to work out fasted. So I take this and it kind of just helps me with my hunger. Um, as well as I'm also using it to hopefully, but who knows, help with my loose skin. Um, I don't know if I'll have loose skin. I don't have any yet, but in total I'll be losing like 95, almost 100 pounds. And I feel like anything I can do to help avoid loose skin, I'm gonna do. Obviously collagen and elastin is part of the whole helping with your skin. So that's what I'm doing. I also noticed that it helps keep my face pretty clear too, so that's an advantage. Um, but yeah, I, as far as the main thing, I use it for my protein before um, my workout and it doesn't have any taste. So, I mean, I love it. But these are all caffeine supplements. So you, if you know you have a sensitivity to caffeine, you can't tolerate caffeine, don't try it, it's not worth it. 
Um, but if you drink coffee, tea, or whatever anyways, and you want to give it a shot, it's definitely my, it's my magic. It's what I go to. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. Let me know if you decide to try it, and if you do which one you're trying and how you like it. I'm obviously always open to new suggestions, but I'm really happy with this one. This is my favorite so far. Also about to reach my 60 pounds lost mark since May of 2016. So a little bit over a year, I've almost lost 60 pounds and obviously my whole life is different. I wish I would have made YouTube videos in the beginning. So as time goes by, I'll have more and more and more content out, but you can see on my Instagram, if you follow me there, at my adventure to fit, all of my before photos. So that's fun. Anyways, I will see you guys soon. I'll be back for a new video when I do my 60 pound mark. Love you guys. Do like and subscribe to my channel and share the video.